Hello everyone. Recently I made a video about the TP-Link WR841N slash ND version 9 and that was to upgrade it to the DDWRT firmware and that's a third party uh, firmware for this router that replaces the stock firmware and basically opens it right up for you to configure it any way you wish. Now many of you have uh, done this video and then uh, I've got questions about hey, how do I upgrade it to the next latest firmware upgrade that's available? And uh, usually that's the beta firmwares. And recently they've been releasing like one every week. Trying to stay on top of that is kind of a, uh, you know, a challenge. But regardless, say you want to upgrade to the latest uh, beta software or firmware for this router, or you already have the latest beta firmware and you don't like how it's working, you want to go back to your previous firmware. The procedure is actually the same. So I will show you how to do both of those in this video. So here's the router again at uh, Amazon. Beautiful value at $20. Just can't believe how well, how well this router works and how great a deal it is. So recommend it if you don't have it. Next, uh, we're going to go to the DDWRT website. So that's dd-wrt.com. And you want to go and get the firmware prior to doing anything else with the router because when you're flashing the router or when you're upgrading the router uh, you need the firmware already on your computer because who knows you might lose access to the internet doing the uh, flashes so you want to be able to have them there so you can uh, reinstall them without any issue so uh, where we're going to go from here is go to downloads and in the downloads you'll see a bunch of links but the one you want is here under other downloads then you get a list here of a bunch of different links so we're going to go to betas and then under betas we have a bunch of years so I'm assuming you want the latest firmware available in the beta uh, section for this router so we're going to go to 2015 and then we have a bunch of choices but the latest choice is the 27240 of course this will change over time but this is the latest one on this video so we're going to click on that then you get a list of a whole bunch of uh, routers. The easiest way to find yours in here, and of course I'm assuming it's a WR841N. Uh, so just hit Control and F, and that will give you the Find window or option. And I'm using Firefox and Windows uh, 7. So here we're going to type in WR8, and then you see that it takes you down to the TP-Link uh, WRN routers at which point you'll choose your version. Now I'm using a version 9 so I'm going to choose version 9. We'll go there. And the next thing you want to do is download the factory to DDWRT bin and the TL-WRA it's the sorry the TL-WR841ND web flash bin. You need both files to successfully upgrade or downgrade your router. So I've already downloaded these two files. All I need to do is click on the links, uh, click save, save the file to wherever you're going to save it. I've already done that and I put it in separate folders in my download directory. So just for brevity's sake, I'm going to assume you know how to do that. Um, what the heck, let's do it. Now I'm going to hit save and you see that I have a um, downloads directory. I'm going to go there and I have a W841N folder. Go there and I've already downloaded it, but you can see that I have several different folders with the R27240, uh, you know, 27147 and 27119 because I'm going to show you how not only how to upgrade it, but how to downgrade it using this uh, firmware. So we're going to go to the 27240 uh, and just dump it into that folder. And I've done that already. So I'm just going to hit cancel here. I'm going to assume you've, you're going to do that. And after which point, um, I'm going to go back here to 2015 scroll down to the other firmware versions which the one I'm actually running right now on the router itself is 27147 so that allows me to upgrade it to this version or downgrade it to this version the 27119 which I've downloaded again both files are required so I've downloaded both files for both versions again same procedure just search for it in this list you'll find it uh, mine's a version 9 again download both files. Now I'm assuming you've done all that. You've got both files of the firmware version that you want and you're ready to go. Well you're not ready to go until you do this. You need to hook up your router with a LAN cable. Okay 
and as you notice I have it in the yellow ports or orange ports there and into my la uh, laptop directly this is the only way to flash this router yes you may be able to get away with it doing wirelessly and it may work for you 99 times out of 100 but that that 100th time where it doesn't work for you it's going to put you into a world of pain so trust me just get your LAN cable out that came with the router plug it in and do it this way the next thing you're going to do is to disable your wireless connection so that you can actually have this work without it going through wireless so basically what I'm saying is you don't want any chance of flashing the firmware through a wireless connection I've seen it go wrong and I've seen the router basically turned into a brick so yes it can be recovered but you don't want to go there so let's go down your network icon click on that open network and sharing center go to change adapter settings and then you'll see all your adapters so I'm assuming that you have a LAN connection in your in your computer and if you don't don't do this over wireless seriously find a computer that has it uh, then we're going to un disable the wireless network connection so disable okay and then we're going to go to the LAN or local area connection 2 here that I have uh, yours may be named differently but basically it's the the LAN connection or your network card connection and we're going to go to properties so right click it choose properties uh, make sure that you've got the obtain IP address automatically and obtain DNS server automatically set up, set that way and mine is all right so just make sure yours is too make sure it's enabled mine is because disabled is shown there and I am plugged into it right now so I'm ready to go and do this flash now the default IP address for your router is going to be 192.168.1.1 if you changed it well then you can have to go to whatever you changed it to so I'll just hit enter on that and as you can see there's my router now it's going to ask me for uh, username and password so let me just put that in whatever yours is set to just put it in you have to set it when you first uh, update the router so we're into the router then we're going to go to administration under administration we're going to go to firmware and then you see that uh, sorry firmware upgrade and then you'll see that you have an option to reset after flashing or not just leave everything here by itself um, to its defaults you might want to go over here to the backup tab and choose to back it up in which case it'll just uh, give you a file to download called mvram back.bin and that is your, your backup file that you would use in case you want to restore your settings that you currently have so I, I suggest doing that I'm not going to go into that too far but it's pretty basic you hit the backup you download the file and then when you're done you click on rest you click on uh, restore here and actually on browse browse for that file and restore it so back to firmware uh, we're going to choose a, a file to restore and if you want to check your version type just go up here the DDWRT and and the firmware and just click on that window and you'll have this pop up and as you can see I'm on 27147 so I'm going to upgrade it to the latest version so I hit browse here and I go back to my downloads and WR841N and my R27240 is where we want to go and first step you need to do you have to download you have to uh, flash the factory to DDWRT bin first so we'll do that and hit upgrade yes you do have to use both files otherwise it won't upgrade and I guess that's the trick with this is that people get confused to think oh I only have to hit the second one I already did the first one no both files have to be done for the act, uh, upgrade to be successful So I'll just wait for the, this uh, upgrade successful uh, window to go back. If you want, if you're like me, and you're a little impatient, just click on 192.168.1.1, and as you can see, the router is not quite ready yet. There we go. We're back, and now the neat. Well, here's something that you'll notice right away. If you want to find out what firmware version you are, again. Let's go take that look at that window. It still says 27147. That's because you haven't flashed the second file. But you need to do the first one first. Okay, back to administration, firmware upgrade, and then browse. 
And of course, we've done the factory to DDWRT bin file already. I'm going to hit open here on the second one. And that's the TL-WR841N web flash bin. So upgrade here. I, like I said, it's a two-step process. I believe all the TP links work the same way. My WDR4300 works the same way. You need to use both files to get it to work. And after this is finished, we should have the latest version, beta version, uh, available today, because it changes every day from what I can tell, or at least once a week. It, it's been crazy how many firmware upgrades they've been doing lately. But obviously there's a, some sort of bug fix or enhancement to the next version, which you may want to get. Now, small caveat to this, sometimes the latest version of the firmware will make your, your router uh, not respond the way you want. So therefore, I'll show you how to downgrade it back to the previous version or to an older version. And so we're back. Now let's go check that firmware version here at the firmware uh, link. And you can see now that I am 27240. So it, this is, I've successfully flashed it up to the latest version. Now, I don't like the way this version is working and I'm not really happy with it. So uh, I'm going to take it back to an older version. So click on administration again, firmware upgrade, browse your your uh, directories. I'm going to go to the 119 version. Of course, again, two flat, two bit. It's a two bin process. Make sure you get both bins. Make sure you get the right bin for your router and the right bin for the version of your router. So I'll go here, open, and upgrade. Even though we're downgrading. All right, we're back, and again, you'll see. Looks like nothing's changed. 27240. What the heck, right? No. We, like I said, two, two, two step process. Let's go get the next one. So, administration tab, firmware upgrade again. Hit browse again. Again, I'm in the 27119, is what I'm going with. Hit the TL WR841ND web flash bin file and hit open. And again, upgrade. All right, we're back and let's just check the version type now. And as you can see, we're into 27119. Perfect. So there we go. We've upgraded it. We've downgraded it. It's the same process either way. It's a matter of choosing which uh, revision you wish to run from DDWRT. Oh, and yes, one more thing before we're done. Let's not forget to turn the wireless card back on. So let's go down to the network icon down here. Right click it, go to open network and sharing center. Go to change adapter settings and then right click wireless network connection and click enable. And that's it. You're now back to uh, square one with a new upgraded firmware for your router or downgraded firmware for your router. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor, click on the like button right down here. and. Uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here and that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay, again, thank you very much for your time and watching.